The Megalodon is rumored to be a monstrous shark, the biggest ever to exist. The prehistoric beast had a massive set of jaws and rows and rows of razor-sharp teeth. It also had a host of enemies, and none of them were human. Most of these enemies wouldn't be keen to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big beast, but they disliked them intensely. From the big, bad Titanoboa to one of the earliest baleen whales, here are 15 biggest megalodon enemies to ever exist. Number 15. Titanoboa to the untrained eye, this gigantic prehistoric monster looks a little like Nagini, the snake Harry Potter set free in the Goblet of Fire. Nagini was a caramel Burmese python, whereas this gigantic snake is the Titanoboa, or Titanic Boa, one of the largest and most dangerous snakes to have ever inhabited the Earth. Female Titanoboas do not mother their children. To give you some comparison, if the extinct megalodon shark and this massive snake were to cross paths, the shark might just come off second best. Now that's impressive, given the meg is estimated to have measured between 40 and 60 feet long. In contrast, the titanoboa grew to a maximum of 42 feet long and weighed almost a ton. Titanoboa fossils indicate it lived during the middle to late Paleocene epoch around 58 to 60 million years ago. The Meg is believed to have existed during the early Miocene to the Pliocene period, approximately 23 to 3.6 million years ago. As a carnivore, the Titanoboa is considered one of the biggest and most dangerous enemies of the prehistoric shark in the world. The giant snake was a lot sneakier than a shark, using its camouflage skills to hide and then strike its prey without warning. With a bite force of 11 to 18 tons, the snake was also a force to be reckoned with. But we all know the Meg was no slouch either, just like its relative, the Great White. One bite from one of these guys can be fatal. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed while you're sleeping. Number 14. Cetotherium. The Cetotherium, or Whale Beast, is believed to be one of the earliest members of the Cetotheraldi family. Commonly referred to as baleen whales, these mammoth ocean dwellers were thought to have gone extinct during the Pliocene. In 2012, experts discovered that the pygmy right whale might be the sole surviving species of the Cetotherium's family. These predators had pointed teeth for catching and killing other marine creatures, such as fish and even other mammals, including large sharks like the megalodon. Later, their feeding techniques diversified so they could take advantage of other food sources. They developed baleen to strain small organisms. Using this process, they were able to scoop in dense shoals of prey, including krill, copepods, small fish, and sometimes birds, together with large volumes of water. Experts believe that due to its dietary requirements, the whale would have spent most of its time close to the ocean's surface and its main food source. Unfortunately, this spot in the ocean is considered dangerous, especially due to the gigantic predators lurking below. One of those predators was the the Meg. Some fossils of these whales have shown compression damage to the vertebra. This strongly suggests that these massive apex predators rammed into the belly of the whale at high speed, damaging the vertebra. And we can only imagine what happened next. Number 13. Leviathan. 65 million years ago, the dinosaur became extinct. From then, the biggest animals on Earth were confined to the ocean, with some of the largest aquatic creatures known to man lurking in the deep, dark depths. 
One of those was the Leviathan, an enormous prehistoric sperm whale. Said to rival the size of the star of the blockbuster, The Meg, this whale measured 50 feet long and weighed 50 tons. In comparison, the Megalodon is estimated to have measured up to 70 feet long and weighed over 60 tons. So it was one monster shark. Experts believe that during the mid-Miocene epoch, these two behemoths briefly overlapped, meaning they shared the same territory. In fact, they may have even strayed into each other's waters, either accidentally or on purpose. Do you imagine? A 10-foot long skull of the giant sperm whale was found in Peru in 2008. The find confirmed the existence of the enormous prehistoric beast that may have been behind the story of Moby Dick. Whether that's true, we may never know. But the prehistoric giant is said to have spent a good portion of its life around the coasts of South America, where it possibly had the occasional scrap with a meg. Apparently, its teeth were longer and thicker than those of the enormous shark, and it had a bigger brain. So, in a battle of wits, the Leviathan might have come out on top. Who knows? Number 12. Zygophysiter vera lie. An extinct sperm whale that lived between 11.2 and 7.6 million years ago during the Tortonian Age of the Late Miocene may have resembled the modern-day killer whale. It measured up to 23 feet long and was a member of a stem group of fossil macroraptorial sperm whales, including the enormous Leviathan. Like the Leviathan, this sperm whale had huge teeth. And unlike the modern sperm whale, these teeth were functional in both the upper and lower jaws. A fact I imagine these prehistoric giants found extremely handy, given the many other dangerous inhabitants in the ocean at that time. One of those was, of course, the Megalodon. Smaller than the Leviathan, the Zygophysiter veruli might have been no match for the massive Meg, but it was tougher than the sperm whales we see today. The sperm whales of yesteryear had a beak. This enabled them to detect objects in their environment by sense. They were also a lot faster than the modern-day sperm whale, which would have made capturing larger prey a little easier. The whale's feeding habits are like that of the killer whale, hence the resemblance and obvious connection. The male of the species, however, may have been significantly larger than the zygophysiter, measuring up to 26 feet long. Considering this sperm whale was half the size of the meg at best, its only hope of survival would have been avoiding its razor-sharp teeth and incredible bite force. Number 11. Brigmophysiter. Better known as the biting sperm whale, the Brigmophysiter is part of the extinct toothed whale species. This species included the Acrophysiter, Leviathan, and the Zygophysiter, and all have enamel-coated teeth in both their upper and lower jaws. Since Brigmophysiter was published first, Nagonocetus becomes a junior synonym. The skeleton of just one specimen of Brigmophysiter whale has been found. After examining it, experts believe it may have existed around 14 to 15 million years ago, possibly the same time as the Megalodon. A mid-sized whale measuring just 23 feet at best, it would have been no match for the Meg. In fact, the Meg is believed to have been a specialist when it came to hunting and killing whales. I mean, it would take a fair amount of food to curb the huge beast's hunger, wouldn't you say? Still, the sperm whale was an apex predator of the time, with its large teeth used to catch and kill struggling prey, including other whales. Not much is known about its hunting behavior, but like other sperm whales, it may have been able to use echolocation to find its prey. Let's hope this beacon worked in reverse and warned them of approaching predators. Number 10. Allophysiter. A predatory sperm whale, the Allophysiter is believed to have called the ocean home in the Miocene period 6 million years ago. Now extinct, the Allophysiter's distant relatives have some of the same characteristics. It's likely, however, that they probably had a more diverse diet. The Allophysiter is believed to have reached lengths of approximately 6 meters long and weighed up to 2,400 pounds. 
Predominantly carnivore, it bore a striking resemblance to the Oristeroceus, a member of the Physeteroidea superfamily closely related to a group of whales, including the sperm, pygmy, and dwarf sperm whale. The Allophysiter is said to have inhabited the west and east coasts of North America, as well as the Patagonian region of South America, and may have migrated through the Central American Seaway. Fossil evidence suggests the whale may have even met one of the main predators of the Miocene period, the Megalodon. The giant prehistoric shark would have made quite the opponent for the significantly smaller Allophysiter. However, both may not have survived dropping sea levels and the resulting closure of the Central American Seaway. As sea levels dropped, the Isthmus of Panama was created, effectively sealing off the migratory route between North and South America, effectively killing many species of prehistoric whales and the predators that preyed on them, including the Meg. Number 9. Ramphosuchus The Ramphosuchus, which I couldn't find out how to pronounce anywhere, is thought to have been one of the prehistoric megalodon shark's many enemies. Experts believe it resembled the modern-day false gharial, a freshwater crocodilian that is part of the Gavialidae family. Commonly known as the beak crocodile, the Ramphosuchus lived during the Miocene period. Fossils found in the Siwalik Hills of Pakistan and India, as well as the Sindh region of Pakistan, has paleontologists estimating it was one of the largest crocodilians that ever lived. Measuring almost 60 feet long and weighing up to 20 tons, the Ramphosuchus would have made quite the opponent for the Meg. In fact, it would have been more than just a thorn in the giant shark's side given it was pretty much the same size. And we all know how vicious these reptiles can be, even the prehistoric ones. Compared to modern day crocs, the Ramphosuchus had a thinner and longer snout, but their teeth arrangement was pretty much the same. Ramphosuchus are believed to have mainly eaten fish, and not the small ones either. Due to their size, these large reptiles would have had no issue capturing and devouring larger prey. Perhaps even the Meg could have been on the menu. Who knows? Number 8. Giant Octopus this enormous aquatic creature is believed to have lived many millions of years ago before the Pleistocene Ice Age and featured in the 2009 Asylum film Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus. Whoa! <laughs> the movie title itself gives some indication of the relationship between these two, with the Megalodon and the Giant Octopus considered mortal enemies. Could you imagine this pair roaming the deep, dark depths of the ocean all those years ago? The exact species of octopus that this giant belongs to is unknown, but it has experts believing it was a sea monster of sorts. Several carcasses of the unidentified giant have been discovered, including one that was given the name St. Augustine Monster. Described as globsters, they are not to be confused with the known giant Pacific octopus. The Pacific octopus can grow to lengths of up to 20 feet, and the giant octopus is said to be even larger. We could only imagine how a real-life matchup between the Megalodon and the massive octopus would play out, but you can bet it would include a splattering of ink. The giant octopus squirts at its enemies as a defense mechanism, creating a cloud in the water that heavily hampers visibility. No doubt a handy tool for an octopus trying to escape, wouldn't you say? Number 7. Dunkleosteus an extinct, armored, jawed fish of the Placodermi family, the Dunkleosteus flourished in the Devonian period. Before their sudden extinction, these fish survived a massive 50 million years, and it's no surprise given their impressive armor. I mean, these fascinating creatures probably wouldn't have been out of place on a medieval battlefield. That's how much armor they had. Large, bony plates covered most of their enormous body, a body that measured up to 28.8 feet long and weighed over a ton. Their bite, too, was a force to be reckoned with. The Dunkleosteus had two sets of fang-like protrusions near the front of their powerful, self-sharpening jawbones, and a bite force of 80,000 pounds per square inch. 
making it quite the opponent for the Meg. Its bite force was estimated at between 110,000 to 180,000 pounds per square inch. Once found in the ancient abyss, the Dunkleosteus is a large carnivorous fish that may have had the occasional sparring match with the Megalodon. How that played out, I guess we'll never know, but you can guarantee it would have been a tough battle for both parties. Number 6. Great White Shark When it comes to sea creatures, few strike fear in humans more than the Great White Shark. The ultimate predator of the seas, it measures between 15 and 20 feet long and generally weighs up to 5,000 pounds. Made famous on the big screen back in 1975 when we were introduced to Jaws, this huge shark has gained quite the reputation for being a vicious predator. Experts believe it's a reputation they may not deserve. They're not actually a mindless killing machine, but they do tend to attack first and ask questions later, which isn't exactly helpful. What also doesn't help is the fact that they have 300 triangular serrated teeth that can tear through flesh in the blink of an eye. Also known as White Pointer, the Great White is a species of large mackerel shark and inhabits the coastal surface waters of all major oceans. They normally swim at speeds of up to 25 kilometers per hour, but can reach almost 60 kilometers per hour in short bursts. So outswimming one is clearly not an option. The earliest known fossils of these sharks are about 16 million years old, which means they existed during the mid-Miocene epoch. This fact has them possibly going fin to fin with the megalodon that lived during the early Miocene to the Pliocene. I wonder how that meeting played out. Number 5. Thalassomedon this long-necked marine reptile is among the largest elasmosaurid plesiosaur. Fossils suggest that the average thalassomedon measured over 35 feet long, but a larger skull of the species has some reaching up to 38 feet. Its long neck comprises 62 vertebrae and measures a whopping 19 feet, over half the reptile's total length. This reptile is believed to have inhabited the Western Interior Seaway, a Cretaceous Sea that divided North and South America. Experts have found that the Thalassomedon lived in the early stages of the late Cretaceous period and may have become extinct due to the new rise of predators, including the Mosasaurs. These large marine reptiles may have evolved from an extinct group of aquatic lizards. The smallest measures less than 3.3 feet long. However, the largest specimen, nicknamed Bruce, reached just over 43 feet. Apex predators like the Tylosaurus and the Megalodon too would have caused problems for the Thalassomedon, including competition for existing fish stocks. With the increasing danger of bigger and better predators, life for the Thalassomedon can't have been easy. Number 4. Orca – The Killer Whale the killer whale, or orca as it is commonly known, is the largest member of the oceanic dolphin family. The star of the hit movie Free Willy, the orca is an iconic species that is frequently a popular performer in live shows at marine parks. It's also classified as an apex predator sitting at the top of the ocean's food chain. Expert hunters with excellent eyesight and hearing, the orca is not preyed on by any other animal. It is one of 35 species in the oceanic dolphin family and first appeared about 11 million years ago in the Neogene period. The Miocene was the first geological epoch of this period and, if the history books are correct, the Megalodon also roamed the ocean at this time. Whether these two met is a question only they can answer, but you can bet it would have been a battle of wits rather than of power. A male orca can weigh as much as 5,400 kilograms and measure 9.6 meters long, but the Meg was believed to be larger, possibly measuring between 20 and 25 meters long and weighing in at a whopping 205,000 pounds. If that's true, then the Meg could have been bigger than the blue whale. Now, that's an opponent no animal in their right mind should take on, least of all the orca, don't you think? Number 3. Lion's Mane Jellyfish What looks like a bunch of hair floating around the ocean is a jellyfish. 
the lion's mane jellyfish to be exact. Often referred to as simply the giant jellyfish or hair jelly, it is the biggest living jellyfish in the world, stretching a whopping 36.5 meters from the top to the bottom of its tentacles. Up to eight feet wide, this is the world's largest jellyfish. Now that's impressive. The dense mass of long, dangling tentacles resemble a lion's mane, hence the name. Not only is it believed to be the longest and biggest jellyfish known to man, the jellyfish is also a contender for the longest animal of all time, even longer than the blue whale and the prehistoric megalodon. Both are believed to measure around 25 meters long, so fall well short of this giant jellyfish. Their huge tentacles are also extremely dangerous, particularly given that they would be pretty hard to avoid. It uses these for capturing, pulling in, and feeding on prey, and for protection. The giant jellyfish is also capable of delivering quite the sting if provoked. The sting isn't believed to be fatal, but the temporary pain would be enough to put most predators off, wouldn't you say? They can have up to 1,200 tentacles. These are divided into eight clusters and provide the jellyfish with quite the weapon cabinet. Imagine encountering just one of those tentacles, let alone several at once. Ouch! Number 2. Nothosaurus Fossilized remains of this semi-oceanic reptile have been found throughout North Africa, Southwestern and Eastern Asia, and especially Europe. Experts believe the Nothosaurus lived approximately 210 to 240 million years ago, during the Triassic period. This geologic period spanned 50.6 million years from the end of the Permian period to the beginning of the Jurassic period. The Nothosaurus had a slender body, long neck and tail, and long limbs, and probably led a lifestyle like that of today's seals. Measuring between 4 and 7 meters long, these reptiles had long, webbed toes and probably a fin on their tail. Strong swimmers, they would use their tail, legs, and webbed feet to propel and steer them through the water. Terrestrial reptiles distantly related to lizards and snakes, Nothosaurs were calling the ocean home when the first dinosaurs were beginning to walk the earth. They were fish hunters and weren't fully adapted to life in the water. In fact, some had clawed feet, so may have come ashore to rest. Their amazingly long and needle-sharp teeth would have made them quite the predator too, certainly not one to be messed with. Number 1. The Giant Oceanic Manta Ray The manta ray is the world's biggest ray, with the giant oceanic manta ray the heftiest. From wingtip to wingtip, it can measure 7 meters and weigh as much as 2 tons. The reef manta isn't a lot smaller either. Fortunately, their immense size is a bit of a turnoff for most predators, except, of course, large sharks and orcas. These are known to hunt the docile plankton eaters and may have been joined by the megalodon at some point. The giant oceanic manta ray is believed to have evolved about 20 million years ago, so the possibility of these two giants meeting up somewhere in the middle of the ocean isn't as far-fetched as you might think. I mean, the meg lived approximately 3.6 to 23 million years ago, so if the history books are accurate, they were both roaming the ocean together at one point. How the altercation would have played out is anyone's guess, but the giant manta wouldn't have made things easy. In fact, it's highly possible it would have pulled a disappearing act. Yes, the manta is known for disappearing in the face of danger at speeds of up to 24 kilometers an hour. Impressive, don't you think? Can you imagine hanging out in an all-you-can-eat buffet and someone swoops in and eats all the goodies? That would be annoying, wouldn't it? Well, that's probably what it was like many years ago when the oceans were home to Megalodon. It's no wonder they weren't the most popular creature in the sea, and their list of enemies is longer than you would imagine. These guys were literally at the top of the food chain. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!